Come on, everybody. Hope we're all fit and well. Everybody's uh, ready to go. No illness, no injury, nothing that's going to affect us. It's a little bit different today. We're going to do predominantly standing type class. So we're going to almost like a real extended warm up. So slightly different today. So standing nice and tall, drawing that tummy in, engaging the core, arms by the sides. And we'll just wake up those senses as usual, those little leans forwards and back. Catching our balance, using the toes to stop you falling forwards, and then lean back till just before you think you're going to fall. That's it. A few more times. It just wakes us up. It's the body ready to move. Connects brain and body. That's it. One more. Find that spot where we're nicely balanced, not falling forwards or back. Hands onto hips or one hand in front behind. And we're just going to loosen up that lower back. Set that neutral spine. That's good. So we're just tilting that through. Just a little squeeze of the tummy as we come through. Putting that arch in the bottom of the spine as we tilt that pelvis back. Good. And just freeze up that lower back, tends to tighten up overnight. It helps find a neutral spine. Good, one more. And now it should be nicely set, nicely balanced. And we get those feet moving, pushing that foot into the ground. And let your arms just join in. Natural walking arms. So that's opposite arm to opposite leg. That's it. So really push that foot down into the ground. And we start to raise those arms a little bit more. So bringing them up to about shoulder height. That's it. up. And then start to take them a little bit higher. So one pushes back more, the other one's up over the head, pressing back. Give that a really nice big stretch. That's it, and then let's start to take that a little wider. Starting to reach out. That's good, taking those arms nice and wide, real good stretch back as well. And that's it, a couple more. That's it, one more each side. And we're bringing that back down. Good. So standing nice and tall, feet under our hips. But we're just going to raise those arms, open wide. And down. So we're up, open, in, and down. That's good. Take a really nice deep breath as we open out. Blow those arms back down. That's it. Breathing in and out. Excellent. Two more. That's it. So one more, then we're going to add in an extra movement. So this time, as we open, we go over, back and down. Up, open, over, back and down. Good, keeping that going. So as we're reaching out, the arm stays out at 90 degrees. That's it. 
Good. Keep the neck going. Do a few more. That's it. So one more to each side. And nicely over and back down. Good. So still standing nice and tall, those feet still roughly under our hips. I just want you to bring your arms sort of forwards and slightly out, about 45 degrees each way. We're just going to circle those arms. So just nicely controlled. So not too big a circle. That's it. Change direction. And keep standing nice and tall, looking up and forwards. That's it, a few more. And bringing that back down. Okay, we're going to take our weight just onto one foot and just raise the other foot slightly up and forwards. I want just to roll the ankle. And then bring your hands out and just rotate your wrists at the same time. And now's the challenge. See if you can change direction. Start rotating the ankle and then let's take the wrists again. Change direction. Good, a couple more. And bringing that down. Okay, so standing nice and tall, bringing those arms up slightly bent, and we're just going to rotate that one way, then the other. Just nice and gently. That's it, not too quick. That going. And then release your heel so that we can look all the way behind. That's good. Keeping that going nice and steady, nice smooth movement. To centre. So let your balance just come back for a few seconds, just to send you a little bit dizzy as we're spinning there. This time we're going to make it a bit more of a challenge, so we're going to take our weight onto one leg, we're going to bring those arms up and we're going to rotate the upper body. So if you've got a fairly thick mat on carpet you might find it easier just to step onto a hard floor. Struggle, you can just put lightly put that other toe down, but keep as light a touch as you can. Oop, off we go. Good. 
de Chocoma. That's it, well done. Bring that down, just take a few seconds. We're gonna switch over onto the other leg. So when we're ready, take that weight onto the other leg and rotate. Excellent, a few more. Good, one more each way. And bring that down, well done. Okay, so we're gonna take our feet out a little bit wider now. So probably just wider than shoulder width. We're going to take our arms out nice and wide. We're going to reach down to, uh, to the opposite toe. Keep our arms out in that cross position. We're just going to reach down. Up, down the other way. That's it, nice and steady. You do need to bend your knees a little bit, that's absolutely fine. It takes that pressure off the back. Good, couple more, and we're gonna add an extra little movement in. So one more each way. Okay, so this time, we're gonna do the same exercise but in between, we're adding in what we call a good morning. So we're basically gonna bend forward in the middle. So we'll just show you, so we're gonna go down, up, and it's a bend, and then opposite side. So remember, you can soften those knees if you need. Take that pressure off the back and the hamstrings. Excellent, right, so keeping that going. Nice and steady. Really helps strengthen that postural chain. So coming up the hamstrings, through the glutes, into the lower back. Those muscles that weaken as we sit at our desk. Good, a couple more each way. That's it, last ones. And bringing that back down, well done, excellent. Okay, bringing our feet back under hips. We're gonna stand nice and tall, taking our hands up above the head, just over to one side, then the other. So after today's session, we should be really nicely stretched out. Have a really good work on our balance today. That's it, a few more. We're gonna take it round into our windmill. And then we're gonna change up the windmill slightly as well. So next time, let's take it round. So starting off as normal with that windmill, change direction. That's it. Nice. 
nice and steady. Sweeping that through. And again, if you need to soften those knees as you come through, absolutely fine. Okay, one more. Okay, we're going back to the windmill, but we're going to change it around. This time, instead of stopping and changing direction at the top, we're going to do that at the bottom, but we'll have a little pause and an extra movement at the bottom. So we're going to sweep down, pause, press one shoulder, then the other. A few times. One more each shoulder, and continue all the way around. Do those shoulders again. And then sweep it the other way. This time, you're going to sweep around the feet. About eight times. Four. Eight. And then sweep that all the way back around. Sweeping around those feet again. So roughly eight times. stood as tall and still as we can as we raise that knee. And we're going to build that movement like we've done before. So we're going to add in that open, so take it up, open, in and down. Keeping those hips forwards. That's it. Couple more, I'm going to add in another movement. So 
So this time, to add in that push back, press that leg back. So we're up, open, in, push back. Really, really good, nicely done. Keeping that going. Building that movement up. Engaging that core as we stand tall. Just realize just how much we can work our abdominals while we're standing up. Don't need to be down doing a sit up to work our abs. Anything that stops us falling or twisting or moving, it's all those muscles working. Helps our balance and posture, stops us falling over, reduces that risk of trips and falls as we get older. Do a couple more. Last one. And down. Good. So standing nice and tall still. We're going to sweep that leg out to the side. Then just keep standing as tall and still as we can. So this leg that's moving is there to cause the disruption and try and make us fall over. Everything else is working to keep us standing up still. Excellent. Good, nice and steady. Couple more. And bringing that down, changing legs onto the other side. Take that across. So compare both sides, are you more balanced on this leg? Or be more balanced on the other side. If you find you've got one side much better than the other, remember that. So when you're doing little things like waiting for the kettle to boil or brushing your teeth, you can stand there on that weaker leg, practice your balance. That's it. Those little things look called like exercise snacking. So when you've got 30 seconds, a minute spare, you're waiting for something to happen, you can just do a few little exercises. Even if it's just a little bit balanced, stood on one leg. Making the most of all those spare little minutes we've got now and again. That's good. Couple more. And bringing that back down. Okay, still sticking with that balance. So back over onto the first leg. We're going to draw that circle around our standing leg. Then keep standing as tall and still as we can. Excellent, a couple more. And bring that down, reset, change legs onto the other side. So if you need that little tap down every now and again, just to regain your balance. Or if you really struggle, feel free to use the wall or a bit of furniture. But aim to go for as light a touch on it as you can to gradually reduce the need to hold on. And the thicker, spongy mat or carpet, the harder it is. So if you're on a harder floor, it's much easier to balance than on a really soft one. And if you get so that you find these sort of movements really easy, what you can do is challenge yourself and try close your eyes for a few seconds. That's 
that's it. As soon as you've not got that focus point, balance is much, much harder. Do a couple more. And bringing that down, well done. Okay, so we're standing tall. This time what we're gonna do is take one arm, forwards, opposite leg's gonna go back. So we're just opening it. Taking that, take it back to your 1980s aerobics classes, going into the your spotty dogs, things like that. We're keeping it nice and steady and controlled. So we have a slight lean forward as we extend that arm and that leg. That's good. Do a few more. And we're going to take this into a little bit of a challenge movement. Good. One more each side. Okay, what we're going to do this time. I want you to take one hand up high above your head. We're going to lean forwards from the waist, but the leg is going to go back. So we're going to try and make a T shape. And back. Chain legs. Again, if you're on a really soft mat, it's going to be a bit harder. That's it, keep that going. And up. Really good, a few more times. Each side. Excellent. Last one. Fantastic. Well done. It's a real bit of a challenge on that one for you. Fantastic. Okay, so feet nicely under our hips now. So we're just gonna have that little squat down, bringing that back up. That's it. Remember, those knees tracking forwards over feet. Bum sticking out behind, as if we look at that tiny chair behind us. Good, a couple more, we're gonna change it up. So one more. Okay, standing tall, taking those hands high. We're gonna sweep that through. Reach high. So once we get that movement, if we want to add that challenge, we can go up to toes. With any of the progressions, if you ever do find them difficult or too difficult, stick with the basic movement. Couple more. 
last one. And bringing that down. Good. So sticking with our squat movements, we're going to go into our little curtsy squat. So we're just dipping down behind. That's it. Really good, nice and steady. That's it, keeping that going. change it up. Okay, so this time we're going to curtsy, we're going to step and lunge. Come back. Other way, step and lunge. So curtsy, step. first. Got myself confused. There we go. Last one. And bringing that back in. Well done. Okay, taking those feet out nice and wide, pointing the toes out about 45 degrees, keeping that chest and head up. We're going to squat that down. So working a slightly different muscles. Give it a really good squeeze of the bum and the inner thighs as we push back up. That's it. Excellent. A few more times. Next time, I want you to pause at the bottom. I'm going to twist and up. So we're down, twist, twist, and up. Excellent. Keeping that going. more times. Good, one more. And bring that up, well done. Okay, so we're standing nice and tall, feet under hips, hands coming high, we're going to roll it down, down towards those feet, slowly bringing it up, reaching for the sky, and just keeping that going at your own pace. Remember when we come back up, we're stacking those vertebrae, one on top of the other, as we roll down, tucking that chin, roll the shoulders. Soften the knees if you need to. Hopefully we're all nicely warmed up now. How low can we get? Can we touch the floor? If not, can we touch our toes? 
neck till we grab our ankles wherever you can get down so that's it really good a few more Okay, this time we're going to come down. As we come up, we're going to pause at the knees, bend our knees slightly, and we're going to arch that back. So we're doing a cat stretch in a standing position, and then through. Back, arching that spine, and through. That's it. Try and get a nice smooth transition from the arch to the dip. Good. When we arch up, heads down, spines curved like a bridge, and then we're curving through, so dipping down, head up, bum up. Good. A couple more times. through that spine. That's it. Up. That's good, just keeping that going. Exercises then, we're gonna go down into a kneeling position for the last couple of little exercises. So we're just gonna kneel down, feet behind us, sitting back onto those heels. We're gonna go into our, our kneeling squat. So we're just gonna bring that up, and down. That's it. So you're from that kneeling position, keeping that body as straight as we can. That's it. That's good. times. That's it. Two more. One more time. Bring that up and let's keep staying kneeling up. Feet extended behind. We're going to lock our body from knee to shoulder. Keep it nice and straight. We're just going to lean that back. Nice and steady. And forward. Take that back, hold in with those thighs and that core, bring it up. That's it. Good, couple more times. One. Hold. How long can we hold? That's it. Can we do a few more seconds? And bring that back up. Well done. Excellent. Okay, slowly back up to our feet. Bring that up. Nice and tall. Okay, we're going to take a step backwards. Bending that front knee, keeping that back leg straight. So his hands together, reaching out in front. Let your head drop. And relax 
slide that back foot further forwards. So it's just a couple of inches behind the front foot. Bend both knees and then tilt the pelvis under. Hopefully a nice little stretch on the front of your hip there. Okay, stand that up, pick it up, the back foot. Good. And release that back foot and bring it forwards. Back knee now bends and we sit back. Give that hamstring a stretch. Excellent. Bring that in. Opposite foot's back. Bend in the front knee, back leg straight, heels on the ground, feet parallel. Now this time hands in the small of the back, chest forwards and look to one side. So look into the side for a couple of seconds. Now rotate, look to the other side. Good, head back forwards. Slide that foot closer in, bending both knees, tilting the pelvis forwards. Stand that up, pick up the back foot, and it should be on the opposite leg now, if not, it's going wrong somewhere. Good, release that foot, take it forwards, sitting back, stretching out that hamstring. Bring that back up. Stand into the centre of your mat, feet nice and wide. Let's sweep that through. Take it high. Last time, this one takes us up to our toes. Reach for the sky for three, two, one, and relax it down. Well done, everybody.